Hey everyone, welcome back to SnowRunner. In the last video, I did a bit of a comparison between the Azov and the BM-17, and I decided that this Azov is uh, the one I'm going to go with. So I ended up selling the BM-17, so if it looks like I have a ton of money, that is why. Anyways, I don't think I was actually going to be using the BM-17, and that's why I decided to sell it. Now, I said in the last video that something that I want to go ahead and try to do is try and get rid of some of these vehicles that are just kind of out and about. Uh, so in this case, there's a vehicle here that's stuck in the water. Its nose is deep down in there, but we could probably just pull that out and bring it over to this parking area, and that's that's a quest right there. It doesn't pay very much, but it's something to do. Also, there is another one. Uh, this is the vehicle that's kind of in a swamp over here. We've been there before, and I've seen it before. It's just down the road. So I was thinking that we may as well go and do that now. And you know what? While I'm over here, we may as well go pick up that upgrade as well. Now, I mentioned in the last video that I know that there is a free vehicle on this map somewhere. Uh, somebody actually gave me some directions to it as well, but I'm going to kind of ignore those and we'll find it organically. Uh, just because I've kind of left a lot of this map and a lot of this game as well to be a bit of a surprise for me. I find that I enjoy things better when I don't look into it too much. Like, I think it would kind of ruin the fun of the game if I just kind of looked up what the best truck was and started trying to figure it out. Uh, there probably isn't a truck that's the best overall, but one that's best at certain tasks. And in my case, I want to figure out what that is, at least for my own purposes. Obviously, some people choose to play games differently than that, but that's just kind of how I play games, so that's what I'll be doing for this series. But I will tell you, I have been driving a little bit. I did do a bit of a multiplayer session. Uh, I didn't actually make much progress, but I was driving this Azov around trying to get used to it, and my goodness, uh, it was very hard to get this thing stuck. I did manage it in one spot, but it was only because the water was kind of over the windows of the cab, and at that point, we're kind of just screwed. <laughs> However, I did find a spot in Michigan where you can literally just drive across the lake with this truck, because the intake is on the roof, so it basically means that uh, you're not going to be damaged even if the entire thing is submerged. Now, I do see some areas where this truck might struggle a little bit, and that would be in very heavy loads. Uh, it's an off-road spec truck, which means... I mean, it's made to go off-road, but the on-road sections and even some heavy off-road sections as well, I think it might struggle a bit on, but we'll give it a try anyways. I think the only way I'd actually get it stuck is trying to pull five cargo pieces or something at, at once. Okay, we're veering off of the beaten path here just a little bit. Gonna go down this, I'm guessing it was a water course at one point. Uh, but now it's a trail, and a trail for the Azov. But let's be real, pretty much anything can be a trail for this. It's really darn strong. Because I have another hundred and something thousand dollars in the bank from selling the BM-17, and also doing just a few small quests, uh, I think it might be time in the next video, or potentially this one, to try and tow some really heavy cargo. Uh, like this video, I'm just doing recovery, but next time, I don't know, we might be getting into some, some big stuff. See if we can't just try and do a, f a full run, uh, just one mission in the entire episode, and see if we can do everything at the same time. Okay, hold on a minute here. Now we have to make a choice. So we need to go down this way and likely through the trees as well. There doesn't seem to be a clear path to this upgrade, so I'm probably going to have to make my own. That's fine, though. A few trees in the way. Not a big deal for something as crazy as this. Uh, we should be able to just ride on this without any issues. I think, like I said before, I'm convinced that this truck with mud tires is virtually unstoppable. Okay, here's the upgrade right here. I don't know what this upgrade is for, but hopefully it's for the Azov. And raised. Not for this truck. Uh, it is for the con. Or a different con. Okay, I don't have that con, but it's good to have that upgrade regardless, just in case we decide to, uh, to switch to it. And there we go. That's our swamp right there. Now we have to find our truck in question. Yeah, I'm basically doing the work of a scout with an off-road vehicle, but you know what? It doesn't matter. <laughs> this is what the Azov was made for. Okay, so here's the truck in question. It's hanging out in the water, and uh, it does seem to have a bit of land around it, but we kind of need to grab it from the front if possible. Uh, I'm going to ignore my intuition from last time of driving near the poles, and I'm going to try this route here with the Azov instead. Uh, but we should be fine because, again, this is a, an off-road spec vehicle. But let's try and pick up this quest here, and we'll drag this thing back. It actually has to go a fair distance, so yeah, let's see if I can do it. Okay, my plan is, because we have a bit of solid road here, 
I'm going to back in and then I'm going to pull it out to here and then try and drive it from the front. I don't know if this truck has any fuel or not, but it's going to be easier for us to, to drag it forwards than it is backwards uh, if it can run itself a little bit. But backing in basically just means we have all the options and uh, yeah, let's go ahead and try it. Okay, I'm going to winch from the back onto the back of the truck. If I can pick up the back, there it is. It's out of fuel, okay, so apparently it's not going to matter then. Okay, I'm not doing this in the most optimal way uh, because I'm currently towing it on an angle and I'm also sinking. <laughs> it seems we have found a way to get the Azov stuck, uh, but I'm just going to try and pull it a little bit first and maybe we can straighten it up. Oh, that's kind of working. If we get it out of the mud, then this will be a bit easier. Okay, uh, in the second attempt here, I'm going to attempt to get out of this swampy area a little bit, but... As you can see, I actually did manage to get the Azov at least mildly stuck. Um, but I'm going to try to use the full extent of our winching abilities by putting us on some slightly more solid ground. And we should be able to pull it from here still. Oh yeah, easy. No problem. And we can just kind of lurch forwards. Or potentially just pull the winch again. Try to pull it out a little bit more. And it's rolled. <laughs> oh no. That's not going to make this easy at all. <laughs> okay, surprisingly it's moving pretty well, uh, despite being upside down. Uh, how am I going to fix this? Oh man, I did not think this totally through. Okay, so I freed myself, but that truck over there is obviously still flipped. I need to get up on the side of it, and I've kind of dug a bit of a rut there that we're probably not going to get through normally. Um, yeah, I'm definitely struggling with that with this vehicle and just all vehicles in general. But let me try a side winch. Let me see if I can just get up on the side of it and then winch it from the side as well. Um, up over on this little plateau here, this little piece of land, the rarity. Okay, I'm going to handbrake myself and then I'm going to winch from the side of the truck, which is a risk I know. And then I'm going to winch the opposite end of this one. And... Okay, that's kind of working. That is marginally successful. I know I'm holding down the throttle as well. Oh, that's perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Oh, that's excellent. Okay, now we just have to back up and then drive it out straight, and we should be good. Or I can try and bring it around town here um, throughout this, uh, this kind of area. Ah, you know what? Let's give that a try. It's already facing this way, so we may as well. And we could probably refuel it too. Oh no, wait, we don't have any repair kits on us. Okay, so I'm winched to it again. Uh, this time I'm going to pull it a little bit because it's kind of wrapped around a tree. And then we should be able to just drag it home now. If everything goes okay, that is. Um, this terrain doesn't seem to be very forgiving for us. Well, admittedly this has been a lot harder than I thought it would be, but as soon as we get to the road we should be okay. Uh, theoretically, again, <laughs> everything is theoretical. Oh, it's really screaming about being out of fuel, but you know what? It's not a big deal. Uh, if we brought any sort of fuel module, we could refuel it and it would be easier to tow, but I don't think that thing has got much in the way of power anyways, so it doesn't matter. And again, I am sinking. Okay, so let me map out a bit of a route here. Uh, this one is called Retired, and it needs to go all the way over to this parking area. Uh, but if we go back here... Basically, all we need to do is hit the road, and then we'll be going this way, and then it's just pavement all the way back, so no trouble there at all. We're actually pretty close to the road, too. It's just over there. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. Disconnect, then attempt to pull myself out. Okay, apparently I've dug a hole. Okay, I might be a little bit too far away to winch, but I'm going to try it. Oh, no, I'm just on the border. Okay, we got lucky there. Um, but now that I'm on there... Oh, come on, truck, please. This is getting so close. Okay, I'm going to try that technique again where I handbrake, and then I winch to it. Uh oh Hold on. Just out of range there, but I'm okay now. I'm going to try to winch this truck to me this time, uh, pulling us both together, but that's fine. It just means that it gets a little bit closer. I mean, if it's damaged, it doesn't matter to me either, so... Uh, <laughs> we'll just try and pull forward here a little bit. The issue with that is that uh, I'm just digging a hole for myself if I hold down the throttle, so I don't want to do that. But now that it's all the way over here, I should be able to winch myself over to another location and then just kind of keep towing it along until we hit the road. At least that's the idea. You never know what's actually going to happen here. Okay, this is a pretty promising area, and again, 
Winch is our best friend. Winch onto the truck and just go. Just go. All we need is some momentum and we should have this. The road is literally right there. Oh yeah, okay. As long as we don't get stuck on the rock, we should be fine. Get into low range. Just start using that torque. Yeah, we really need the better Azov engines. That would be that would be excellent for us. Okay, so we've hit another little bit of a wet spot, uh, which is definitely going to cause some issues. I'm going to pull the truck again, uh, this time trying to bring it as close to the road as possible, because if I can get on the road, then we should be done with this whole swamp business. You know, I never thought I'd see the day where the Azov got stuck on something, but apparently I have done it. Uh, I am legitimately stuck here. No winch points and nowhere else to go. It's just this truck to winch to. Okay, let's see if we can just make some some micro progress, getting in low range and trying to weave back and forth a little bit. I mean, we're slowly moving, so I guess we're not technically stuck, but we are pretty royally screwed right now, and I think I'm going to have to go get something else to help this out. Alright, I have an idea. I'm going to go grab something, and I'll be right back here. You'll be able to see this thing work some wonders. Don't worry, here it comes. This is your guardian angel. Uh, yes, this is where all the money from the BM-17 has gone. My first actual heavy class truck, <laughs> and I just damaged it significantly. That being said, this thing is massive, and it's sporting our lovely green color, which to be honest looks terrible on it. I might end up changing that, but uh, yeah, it's huge. So you're probably wondering why not just use one of these for everything? Uh, the reason is, is because it's extremely wide and it can only take saddles, so that means it has to have a trailer to be able to tow stuff, whereas the uh, Azov over there is not like that. Now, what I'm thinking is, let's use this as a way to free the Azov, and then we'll use the Azov to free the truck over there, and we'll just kind of use this when we need it, but for now, yeah, it's definitely needed. Now, it does have diff locks, it does have all-wheel drive, it's got all the good stuff, and by the way, it's got huge mud tires, as you would want. That's exactly what I was looking for. Okay, I think this is... Oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> this is the first time I've winched one of my own vehicles uh, in this series, but let's go ahead and try it. It should start that one up as well, unless it's already moving, so we'll just kind of pull it a little bit, and then it should theoretically be freed. Um, maybe. That's probably enough. Okay, I'm just going to move this large lad out of the way, and we'll change trucks over to the Azov, and uh, turn off that handbrake. Let's just grab a winch on... Um... Oh wait, no. The engine isn't on. There we go. Okay, grab the winch point on that truck over there. Unfortunately, we cannot tow uh, two things at once. So that's our, that's our biggest issue right now. Yeah, it looks like I'm going to have to bring it a little bit farther forward for this to work. Okay, new plan. Let's use the massive Guardian Angel, is what I'm calling it, as a winch point. Uh, I'm going to lock the diffs and put it in all-wheel drive. Oh, wait, never mind. <laughs> nah, there we go, that's reverse. And... okay, we're good. I just want to use this as a winch point, basically. Uh, so, uh, you know what, we don't need that. Let's just use it as a winch point to pull out the Azov, and then we should be able to get that small truck out too. This has been a heck of a recovery mission. Basically just mucking up the ground over here because this thing weighs so much, but hey, it works. Okay, so this pulling out the Azov is uh, r remarkably successful. Uh, let's just get it onto the road and we should be fine. You know, out of curiosity, I'm going to try to back this in, and if we happen to get this stuck, I don't know what I'm going to do with myself, but I'm gonna, I'm going to back it in. I'm going to shift it down into the good old low range, lock those diffs, and then I'm just going to pull out this truck myself, because why not? We have this huge artillery, we may as well use it. Oh yeah, now this is um, <laughs> a little bit easier now that we have some massive power coming our way. And we could tow it back like this, but I'll tell you right now, this massive 8x8 is really darn slow, so I don't really want to do that. But I think that's going to be good enough, the Azov should be able to take it from here. Well, thanks to our massive guardian angel, we have managed to make it through that. You'll definitely be seeing more of this on the channel, but for now, let's go back to the Azov and do a few more rescue missions. And now that I've been driving that huge one, this seems so tame in comparison. Like, the bigger the trucks get, the higher the level of escalation in this game. That's just kind of how it feels to me. But we have also drastically screwed up this road, so if anybody lives down there, I apologize. 
Wow, that was a ton of fun, but you know what? <laughs> not all not all fun things can last because now we just have to drag this thing all the way back over to the parking area, which is quite a ways away. Uh, but yeah, we can move a little bit faster now that we're driving the A's off and not the massive lad. It'll be good to get this quest done, though. This truck finally out of the uh, spot that it was in. <laughs> That's definitely for the better. I know you can pick tr trucks and stuff up on trailers as well, and I could also have picked this truck up with a heavy crane or something, but yeah, I just find it fun to tow. I'm sure we'll have to use the heavy crane at some point, though. Maybe not just yet. And there is an upgrade around the corner over here that I want to grab. Uh, I want to get all the upgrades I can, so <laughs> you'll see it in a bit. I want to start doing multiple truck recoveries more and more with this because it's just so much fun. Getting two trucks stuck and then having to go and buy another one is probably going to happen as well. So that upgrade that I was talking about is down in there. I think actually once we get this back, I'm going to quickly go and grab a scout and then just fall down there and grab it. At least that's uh, that's my idea. Not sure how successful that's going to be. And we finally made it. <laughs> After all this time, we are finally back at the uh, park area and yeah we should be able to drop this lad off get some money and then go for that part the upgrade i mean and then i think there's another recovery that we need to do it's just a little bit farther away okay so this is where this needs to be delivered but apparently it's uh not wanting to go here i don't really know why <laughs> okay so as i've discovered you can't actually refuel these trucks i did i was thinking that maybe uh, if i drove over here with uh with some fuel it might fix it but <laughs> Apparently not, so I put fuel on my CK for nothing, but I don't know. This is very strange. Um, I might have just completely missed the uh, the marker for it, and that is definitely a possibility. Uh, I might have just not picked up the quest properly or something, but I don't know what to say about this one. I'm going to go ahead and get that upgrade, and then I'm going to drive over to the quest spot after I check behind here just to make sure I'm not going crazy. But it doesn't seem like they would want me to drive this behind here. It seems like in front would be good enough. It's very possible that I just never actually picked up this quest, and I'm an idiot, but at the same time, I have the quest, so... I don't really know what to say. I haven't encountered too many bugs with this game. I guess it's a good time to talk about that. Only in multiplayer have I found issues, and I know, uh, as an example, that... Oh no, this... Everything that wants to kill the CK, everything. But I know that uh, in, a, in a multiplayer lobby, the one who hosts the server has to decide what quest needs to be done, and you can't do any other quest than the one that's currently active, so... I'm not sure if that's happening to me right now. I'm not playing multiplayer, I'm just playing by myself, but... Yeah, hopefully that, uh, that gets fixed. Unless, again, I'm just dumb and I didn't pick up the quest, which is completely possible. I definitely do make mistakes. Don't think that I'm uh, some kind of flawless player. <laughs> okay, so with the CK, we should be able to go and grab that part. It's down in the water over here. Uh, which means that we're going to need to do this, essentially. And it's very likely that we're not going to make it. I mean, I do have a bit of weight in the bed, uh, which is actually a good thing for this. But we're also going through water, and you kind of never know what you're up against here. Oh wow, that's a lot of dead cars. Okay, these people need to be careful. <laughs> like, what is going on? But there's the upgrade right there. That is perfect. Nice and easy for us. But I'm going to take it slow, uh, <laughs> just because I don't want to get stuck. Thankfully, I think we can winch onto these things, but still, gotta be careful. I also need to work on getting towers, like, there is a lot of stuff I need to do. Okay, so this is an engine, and it is for quite a few different vehicles, including one of the Azovs, but not the one that we are currently using, unfortunately. But at least we have it. Yeah, see, the quest is already way over here, so I might have just not picked it up. Uh, so I'm going to try to drive out, and I'll drive over there and get that... And then we'll check to see if that's the reason, and then hopefully we can still go and recover the next truck. I just need to make sure to actually grab the quest. Okay, I made it all the way back here. Thankfully there is a shred of terrain here that I haven't completely destroyed. So I should be able to grab this and then recover. And then... Oh yeah, I didn't have the quest accepted. I'm a complete idiot. <laughs> well, lesson learned kids, the game isn't broken, it's me that's broken. Uh, yeah, don't blame the game when it's you, that's the problem. Seems to be a thing that people don't get in multiplayer games especially. Well, that still confirms what I said before though, I haven't had any bugs in this game uh, in anything but multiplayer. So, that's a good thing. A good level of polish. Oh, uh, it's right next to the objective spot too, my goodness. Okay, let's just pull it in. <laughs> we'll call it a day. Actually, no, let's do that other quest as well. 
And there you go. That's uh, that's another 2300 bucks for me. Okay, so our next objective, and we need to actually go a fair distance to get to it. Uh, we're going to be driving along the road again <laughs> down this swampy area as well. But we need to go all the way over to here. Uh, farm swim. We have to grab a large off-road truck. And then that's going to be driven back to this parking area. So it's not really that far. Uh, it's just far to get to. So we should be able to do that pretty quick. I've kind of been messing around so far in this episode with different trucks and stuff, but hopefully it's still relatively cohesive. This time, though, I'm going to make sure to actually accept the quest. This looks like an incredibly swampy area, and I swear we've been here before as well. Uh, so yeah, we'll make sure to actually get this successfully. We might need to bring the big lad over, but I kind of hope we won't. Let's just hope that the Azov can make it. I'm beginning to lose faith in the Azov and also my abilities as a driver because uh, I have uh, gotten myself stuck again in the mud. Seems we need those mud tires stat. See, I don't know why I didn't think about this before, but I'm just going to go along the road like I normally would, just kind of along this way, and then I'm going to cut around here and completely cut off the swamp because I don't want to deal with it anymore. Uh, but yeah, I think we'll be able to just kind of... Oh, you know what? That actually doesn't look too good there. <laughs> Never mind, we'll go around the swamp exactly, and then follow the road, and we should be okay. You know, maybe I just got too confident with the Azov. Maybe thinking that it's super OP was a mistake of mine, um, because I guess I have it in my head that it's impossible to get stuck, and yet in this video alone, I've gotten it stuck twice. So, yeah, I don't know. Obviously, we don't have it fully upgraded yet. It's got a lot of room to improve, including engine upgrades and axles, not axles, but wheels, and just stuff like that. And like, wheels make a huge difference, and so does power, so I'm sure that it'll get better, but seeing that, I'm actually getting a bit worried. I thought this series was going to turn into an Azov series, but yeah, now that we have the huge thing, I might be starting to use that instead, at least for loads that require a trailer. Any sort of, like, fifth wheel loads, ones that require a saddle, I'm not going to be using this, I'll be using the big lad. Like, having more trucks that are specialty-oriented is good, because that means I have an excuse to use them. Uh, because it, this pretty much does everything, except if it does everything mediocre, then it's not really worth it. We need stuff that's exceptional in, in all levels, and then we'll just use each of those for their varying tasks. Okay, here comes our detour. Let's go this way, and then I'll meet you back when I've actually made it over to the spot we need to be at. Oh, I totally forgot that we screwed up the ground over here. <laughs> Yeah, it stays that way as long as you don't reload the map. Alright, we're approaching the quest in question, and it is, oh, not going to be easy. My goodness, I probably should have saved this for another episode, because this is probably going to take some time to get that thing out of there. I'm going to give, an, uh, give it an attempt, and if I'm not able to do it, then uh, we'll have to move on for today. But, goodness, it has been a heck of a recovery episode. Mostly recovering this truck more than anything. I feel like what I've learned today is that I need to be more careful for one, including right now. Uh, thankfully, we do have some trees to run over. I mean winch onto, not run over, but that would be pretty funny. I think the Azov really struggles in the mud in its current state. It's ridiculously good on the like normal ground, but as soon as you get it deep in the water like this, it has issues, and I think uh, better tires and a better engine will help that, but for now, it's kind of just not in a good place in that area, so we have to find some upgrades for it. Uh, also, it definitely struggles with weight that isn't on the back. Uh, like right now, I have nothing on the back, and that's just because I want it to be quick, but I probably should start to use some stuff there, because otherwise we're just going to have a rough time. And this looks like a pretty big truck, so... Okay, let's get the quest. We actually have it, uh, and we'll track it as well. Let's try and bring this thing over to the parking area. It's not that far, so maybe I can do it. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to winch to it, and that's actually a tree. Yeah, it's out of fuel, as you would suspect, with this game. They're not very forgiving in that regard. Uh, but winching this, oh my goodness, it is really heavy. Oh no, this this is going to be really tough. <laughs> oh boy, okay, hold on a minute. I'm starting to reconsider. The good thing here is that we do have a lot of trees to hook onto, and uh, it just means that I'm just going to be yanking down a bunch of tiny trees, and medium trees, and another small tree. Come on, give me the good stuff. There we go. So my theory with this is I want to bring it onto the solid land, but another way to do it is actually to go over there and then pull it from that side. Uh, I'm not sure which way would work best, but I don't know. I've kind of got it up already here, so I'm going to continue with that. 
Okay, if we can get it turned around and kind of out of the water, we'll be doing ourselves a favor. So let me see if I can't just figure that out. Oh, I'm going to end up tipping it again. Oh, come on, truck. I just want to drive on the solid land, please. Oh, that's kind of working. Let's see if we can pull it. Come on, out of the mud. You got this. Yeah, I mean, we've wedged ourselves, but uh, as long as we can bring the truck forwards, then I can unwedge myself using the power of a front winch. I'm kind of disappointed that you can't refuel these trucks. I guess that might make these a bit too easy, but it would also kind of add some strategy because then you can pull up with a scout or something and kind of aid your uh, reconnaissance program by filling one of these up and then also being able to uh, pull it with your big truck. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of run with it here. This is not going to work out quite as I had hoped though. Um, <laughs> I'm going to have to take this from an angle and that tree is completely in the way of this. Okay, backing up. I can't seem to destroy that tree so it might be an unbreakable one. Uh, we have some slack on the winch though which is fine. I just need to get it so I'm not driving up a cliff here. <laughs> Gotta turn myself around. Oh, that's not good. Oh no, oh please no. Okay. I have made some mistakes in my life, but today I'm making a lot of them. I'm also completely tying this around a tree, so we'll see how this goes. Okay, you know what? I'm going to unwinch, and I'll winch so that we're not around the tree. That's probably smart. There it is. That's what I wanted. And if I keep pulling, we should be able to come around here. Come on. It's kind of working. Alright, I might have done it. I might have done it. Oh, that's really nice. Okay. If we can keep going this way, we should be fine. I just have to maybe go into low range. A bit more torque. The road is over there, and the park is over there as well. I am afraid to open up the map because I don't want to lose my momentum. But uh, I think we got this. As long as I can get on the road, I'm pretty much set. As I said, this truck is very, very strong in the dirt. But in the mud, not so much. If we're here in the dirt right now, so... I think we're kind of in its element. Like, I'm not getting stuck at all. I'm just kind of able to drive myself around in here, no problem. Okay, I'm taking a risk and going right up this hill. I am determined to get this thing done today. My goodness, I want it finished. Let's see if we can't just drag this lad all the way over the road. We are really close. Come on. I'm not even in low range, by the way. I'm keeping the wheel speed up. Uh, but now that we're going down and it's going up, we should be fine. Hopefully. I might need to turn it around, but so far, so good. Alright, I think I've done it. I think I got it. As long as we don't encounter any more mud, this truck is pretty much home free. And the parking area is just this way, which means hopefully it's not muddy, <laughs> uh, but we should be able to just get right on in there. I'm feeling good. Well, today has been a heck of a day. I don't know how long these episodes are going to be, but I'm hoping that uh, everything is going to be done within 40 minutes or so. <laughs> I think if a video goes longer than 40 minutes, then less people are inclined to watch it because it seems like a bit of a, I don't know, it seems almost like work to watch a 40 minute video. Instantly encountered mud as I was trying to do a bit of an outro. I thought I was home free here, but apparently not. Uh, yeah, let's just try and drive on the grass. <laughs> that might be the only way. Okay, that's not a bad strategy so far. Well, we're going to make it. It's just going to take 20 years. Which is fine by me. Oh yeah, just look at the lighting in this game, by the way. Like, my goodness. They really put some effort into it, and, uh... I'm a big fan. Oh, I've done it. I'm back on solid ground. The truck isn't, so we're kind of slow, but... Overall, I think I managed to do this one without too many issues. Which is impressive to me, at least. Uh, I know the Azov is still very strong, but... We might have been able to do that a bit better with something else. The thing is that this is, like, it's not that big. It is big, but it's not that big. The big wide truck that I pulled out before is uh, a totally different class, and that's for an obvious reason, but we probably could have done this with that one too, just using a different strategy. Like, the mud tires make a huge difference, so that's kind of what I'm thinking there. I'm not sure if there's some kind of penalty for dragging trucks in backwards, like, in terms of uh, performance on our end, but... This is really slow, <laughs> like surprisingly slow. I thought it would be a little bit quicker than this, but I guess the last vehicle we did tow was a, a lot smaller than this. This thing is a heavy class off-road truck. I mean, what we're towing is, so maybe something heavier would have been better. Either way, I think we're going to be fine. As long as we don't get stuck in here, I should be okay. 
Okay, out of curiosity, I'm gonna tow it from the front and just kind of see what that does. Uh, I think I should be able to... Oh, you know what? It's no different. Actually, the wheels are spinning this time, so that's probably a bit better. Yeah, I think the main problem I'm having is that I'm digging a trench, and then it gets stuck in the trench, and then that's pretty much it. Like, <laughs> once it gets stuck in the trench, I'm pulling it through a trench, which isn't exactly helping this cause. So the only way to make it work is to constantly put myself on new ground, but yeah, it just takes forever. Okay, after five minutes in this one corridor, I think my lesson has been learned. If I'm going to rescue a heavy off-road truck like that, I'm going to bring an even heavier truck instead of something of the same class because this is really bad. Also, this one's a bit unique because its wheels are currently a bit broken. That just means it's harder to pull and harder to drag because they're not turning as I pull it. The drop-off spot is literally right there, though it is in vision. It's just, it feels so far away. Okay, now we're making some progress. There we go, that's what I want to see. Wheels are spinning, we're kind of out of the mud. I'm driving on the grass, which is kind of... <laughs> it's not cheating, but it's kind of like, hmm... Not sure if that's actually a viable strategy. Ah, uh, it made it. Thank goodness. Well, I think I'm done with this for now, but thank you for watching. Hopefully you made it through this entire video. If you made it this far though, and you're interested in this series and this game, be sure to subscribe. I'm going to keep making more content on it, no matter how frustrating it gets. I don't think that this has necessarily been frustrating, it's just been a bit of a, a lesson for me to be a bit more careful with this thing. The Azov is not a, the OP truck that I thought it was, it's not super OP, and I just rolled it. <laughs> uh, you know what, I think that's a fitting end for this one. <laughs> See you next time. This series and these videos are sponsored by viewers like you. We have Canadian Steel, Overlord, Dr. Ivo, That Rice to Explorer, QT Bear, Terry Williams, The Most Random Person, Sick D Cars and Stuff, Boris Ramirez, Jug MBH, I guess I'll say it like that now, and Jacob Said. Thank you everybody for your support.